In 1989, Mazda did the world a favor by revealing the Mazda MX-5 Miata, or Yunos Roadster for those in Japan. And this car was a big hit, with the NA generation, the first generation, selling over 400,000 units. And today, they sold over 1 million. That's crazy, making this the best selling convertible sports car on the road today. Today, I'm going to give you guys what you've always wanted, a good overview with this thing after I finally fix it up and I pretty much got it perfect. Let's get into it. Get into this car. You know, it's a pretty low car, so people like me who are kind of tall have to squat down. But I can fit in this thing, no problem. It's not that hard for me to actually get into this thing. And once you actually get into this thing, you actually got a lot of room. A lot more room than some of these other newer cars I've actually been in, and some SUVs. Mercedes G Wagon, I'm looking at you. And. <clears throat> Even if you don't have enough headroom, which I do, I got a bunch of headroom, which you guys probably can see, you can actually make more headroom. So first, first thing you gotta do, I'm gonna <clears throat> put these things back on. And you gotta take these two latches right here on the NA. Now, <clears throat> I'm not going to lie and say it's super easy, but as you can see, my uh, window's broken. My last video, I told you guys that. And normally, you have to unzip this zipper and let your glass or plastic window down. But since I don't have one, you just let it down, and you can just enjoy the open top. Now, this one's equipped with a five-speed manual transmission been pretty good I just changed out the uh, clutch and slave master cylinder so the shifts are pretty good the coolant is also pretty good and the oil pressure is pretty good I just changed the oil a couple of days ago too so this thing's pretty much about perfect except for this crack in the windshield right here and that actually happened while I was on the highway one day so but it don't really matter it still drives well it's actually got a good bit of space. It's got a center console. My second car I've ever owned that actually had one. And a pretty decent sized glove box too. Two seats. Pretty good looking uh, rear deck too. It does a pretty good job. I really think this is a good, greatly packaged car. It's pretty clean interior, especially for a car that has over 160,000 miles. Hopefully I can put more in it. Okay put this thing in here and let's start this thing up starts out pretty good no uh any lights no lights no check engine lights no airbag lights nothing i don't have abs because this is a 1991 so let's get this thing started now miata is one of the most popular sports cars that ever come in existence uh, with over 1 million so not many sports cars have done that only one I can think of is the Ford Mustang and they probably got like 4 million or something like that probably even more than that one day I will get one but this will be the daily driver for now but this car has been pretty great it's pretty reliable hasn't really given me any problems I've actually bought this thing for $1,500, which is actually really cheap for an MX-5 around this area. They normally sell for about two to three grand for an NA 1.6, and the 1.8s are about the same. They're going to be in the higher end though. But this thing's actually not that bad for such a small car. It's actually pretty comfortable. It's not uncomfortable by any means. I mean, yeah, it does have, it is kind of bumpy. I'm not going to lie about that. But once you get used to it, it's actually not that bad. It's actually really nice to drive. 
shifts are great. I love going to second and third on this thing. And just, just driving this thing puts a smile on your face. Even when you're driving slow. But I don't really drive fast anyway. This car is actually a really good cruiser, believe it or not. Only thing you really do have to worry about in this thing is uh, people not seeing you. It's a smaller car and pretty much most of them won't be on the road. So, you got to watch out for people not seeing you. I already had to worry about that in the Integra and the CB7. I don't know how many times I can tell you that I've been nearly ran off, off the road by trucks, whether it be semis or people in their regular 1500s. And that was just in the Integra alone. But luckily, so far, I haven't had to deal with that. The people's actually been seeing this thing. Probably because of the bright color. It's uh, the Silverstone silver color. It's actually a rare color on these things, actually. It's a pretty, it's a pretty color. I like it. Now, I've always wanted one of these in red. My dream car was a Mazda MX-5 91 in red. But I got, well, I got pretty much close to what I wanted. But I've actually grown to like the silver color more. It looks more mature in my opinion. It kind of reminds me of a higher end sports car. And this thing, it doesn't get much looks from, you know, like younger people. But older people love these things. Like you will get people looking at you, whether it be looking at you weird because you're a big guy in a small car. I'm gonna lift these windows up so you can snatch it here. So you can actually uh, lift the windows up with the uh, power windows. I wish I had crank windows. But I really do like the Silverstone though. I've always wanted it in red, but getting this thing in Silverstone it kind of makes it feel like a higher end sports car. And now a car I just got for $1,500. It kind of makes me feel like I have more money than I actually do. People will actually do look at this car, like I was saying. It makes a good sound, even though it has to stop the exhaust. And yes, I will probably have exhaust.
used to having front wheel drive cars. That's pretty much all I've ever had is front wheel drive. So it was actually a different experience. It's been a while since I've done one of these car reviews. Since uh, the coronavirus hit and got laid off, I didn't really have anything else to do. So I thought, let's finally give the people what they finally wanted. A video of me driving this thing. Now, if there's one thing I do wish about this thing, I wish the shifting was as good as they were on Hondas. If you ever get into a Honda shifter, that thing is just slick and smooth. Like, it just goes right into the ear butter, no notches at all. This is not too notchy, but sometimes you do have to force it into gear. Now, unfortunately, with this thing, this car, I do have the uh, short nose crank version of it. And those are actually known to destroy themselves. But even then, I still see these things last over 200,000 miles. Actually, when I said that Miatas are normally around um, two to three grand more, most of those Miatas I'm actually talking about, they're actually, most of them actually has over 200,000 miles. what you see please like share and subscribe i'm not going to promise i'm going to upload every day or every week but i'll try my best and i'll see you guys next time windows down for the front dash in my jeans then up eating beans these things keep on flashing inside of my head but i'd rather be 